Welcome back to Fit Tips with Wit. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I am here with a very special guest, the OG of fitness YouTube, the best male <laughs> fitness YouTuber on the platform. If you guys don't know who he is, I don't believe you. This right here is Steve Cook. Steve and I have been friends for Forever. I met you three years ago. We've been friends for like two-ish years. We live in the same state, but four hours apart, so we hardly see each other. But I thought it'd be really fun to do a Q&A with a female and a male perspective. I like it. It'll be so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And never forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, I've been waiting so long to do that. Okay, we can redo it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe. You gotta go like this. Oh, like? Yeah. Can you, can you do that? Here we go. One, two, three. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so you never miss a fit tip with wit again. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. The first question is, how did you meet? I don't think you remember this. We've talked about this briefly and yeah. I think your memory of it's better. I was working at this job and they made us go to a fitness expo, which was really weird because it was a beauty product, like a beauty company that I worked ah, for. So I, I found it very that. interesting. Anyways, this is like when I was first getting into like the fitness world online and you were there. But like he was there early. Why were you there early? I'm always early. But you were like walking through all the, <laughs> the little vendors. Oh yeah, I, I used to love doing that because I could never walk around during the actual oh. event. So I was always like to like go early before it opened to mm -hmm. the public and walk around and just say hi to people. Mm -hmm. Just have a good time. So I was like, oh my gosh, and Steve Cook. Were you like that? Yeah. That was your enthusiasm level. No, I was like, oh my gosh, Steve Cook. Hi Steve, can I please have a phone with you? I was like so nervous, you know? But like really? I didn't like really know who you were. Yeah, you kind of had a chance with me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, his girlfriend was there and you know, I'm very respectful when somebody has a girlfriend. So Steve comes up to this booth and like the CEO of my company was like, oh my gosh, we'd love to work with you, sir. Was it a guy or a girl? Yeah, a guy. That was a good guy voice. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we'd love to work <laughs> <laughs> So I asked for a photo with Steve, he gave me a hug and I was like, whoa. Cause you're very like sincere in your hugs, you I, know? I love a good guy. Yeah. So he was like giving me a hug and I was like, whoa. Whoa, you have a girlfriend. I was like, that was intense for that kind of <laughs> hug. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got a photo with him. We'll insert the photo. Here. You still have it. Yeah, it's still on my Instagram. Is that why I couldn't see it's what your room looked like? Is it on next to you yes. on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> signed and everything. Signed. Anyways, asked for a photo. I was like devastated because two people were taking the photo and you were looking up and I was looking down. Uh, so I still posted the photo, but it was so funny because I sent it to my whole family. I was like, oh my gosh, I just met Steve Cook and got a photo with him. And nobody in my family knew who you were. Mm. But now my mom but loves now that, you. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you guys already know this for sure, but Whitney's mom is the nicest woman in the world, literally. I don't know where Whitney came from. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why we love Whitney because with, with a mom like Whitney's, she was born to turn out this way. That was so nice. That will make Mama Drew's day. Aww. Anyways, now the family loves Steve. We're not, we're not dating. <laughs> <laughs> do you like Steve's outfit? Let's just, let's just, let's just for a second. What do you? How, how am I doing? Yeah, I. Am I a little bit heavy on the jewelry? Yeah, I was actually gonna tell you you were heavy on the jewelry. I thought it was like this is as heaviest. This is the heaviest. Of it, and to be honest, I didn't want to pack all these stuff, so oh, I just so wore it. Put it on. Yeah. Caitlin asks favorite thing about one another and least favorite. Okay, my favorite is oh. also my least favorite. Oh, okay. Your sense of humor yeah, is yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah, yeah. thing and also my least favorite thing because when mm -hmm. I first met, like when we first started, started doing stuff with Gymshark, I'm like, I don't know when Whitney's serious and when mm -hmm. she's not. But then I just assumed you loved me and you always wanted to be joking <laughs> and I don't think I should have done if that. If I'm sarcastic with you, it means I like you. I'm not very sarcastic on my YouTube channel because sarcasm doesn't come across funny in videos, but we banter really well. Yeah. My favorite thing about Steve is he is very personable. Thank you. It's fun to be in a group with Steve because Steve's the one that keeps everybody engaged and talking and interacting and having a good time. Now, that's also my least favorite thing about you. Because mm. sometimes it's overkill, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like Pep Rally Steve. Yeah, Nikki calls Steve Pep Rally Steve. I've now taken on that name as well. 
for you. Well, I feel like people are really getting the insights to our relationship, like the ins and outs of Gymshark. I'm Pep Rally Steve. Yeah, the Gymshark team knows Steve Cook as Pep Rally Steve, which is right we love it. Pep Rally Steve. I, if you ever need a hype man, I'll be there. He's there, but sometimes he does like these football huddles. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, we're not a football team. I forget in Birmingham, the Birmingham pop up, like yep. everyone. Steve's like, let's do a chant, and then he gets his everyone's hands in the middle, and he's like, one. Two, I love football. Three, four. <laughs> That's not at all football. how it went. Five, six, let's be a team. <laughs> but you know, it's like. It was just a little overkill. It's just a pop-up shot. You know what you know? though? <laughs> those, those English athletes and all those gym tracks, they never did that because they'd never been like an American oh, football that's team. That's so true because they were the ones that were like so yes. infatuated with it. And I'm just like. Yeah. Allison asks, what is your favorite thing about the Gymshark fam? My favorite thing is I've met so many really close friends through Gymshark. So like Nikki, you, a lot of the girls I've become very close with. Mm, the girls. Yeah. Me, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, my favorite things is the flex leggings. <laughs> okay. No, I honestly think. Um... No, it's fine. We'll move on. <laughs> Stevie, please tell us where you buy your clothes. Did they just hit me with the Stevie? Yeah, right here. That's so funny. This girl in high school used to call me Stevie, and my girlfriend at the mm -hmm. time used to mm -hmm. get pissed. Mm -hmm. If a girl called That is Stephen, very flirtatious. Yeah, Stevie, yeah. in that why? Yeah, very flirtatious. Ooh. Yeah. Where do I get my clothes? Australia. <laughs> oh, this is all from Australia. What are your first impressions of each other? You don't remember me at that event, huh? No, Let I- Let me show you the photo to like recall no, some I, of When was the first time you remember meeting me? I remember you posting that picture and me liking it, because then I followed you back. Do you remember when my friend Ryan used to call on every single one of your yes. photos and tag me yes. and say you guys should date? Yes. He had his chance. And then I followed you for a minute. Emmy, Lou, wants to know, will he marry me? It's important he knows I'm Aussie. So true, you're so in Aussies. Oh, I, I would You would contemplate it. it. I would, just because yeah. I really want a visa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a special woman in his life? I'm not dating anyone exclusive right now. Last time I went on a date was a couple of weeks ago. Hardest part of a relationship. Ooh, what's, what do you think about that? Um, I feel like in a relationship, you have to compromise. Yep. And sometimes that can be difficult, but without compromise, it's not gonna work. That's like the first thing that comes to my mind. Compromise. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest thing about what you do, what we do with social media and being in a relationship? Well, I'm very fortunate because the person I'm dating doesn't have social media. So my online life is very separate from my relationship. I think that is so Does impressive. That make sense? Yeah, I think that like you guys work so well together because of that. Thank you. What's your hardest part about a relationship? Well, I think my hardest part about a relationship is me being I, I get kind of torn between um this homebody. I, I wanna like I don't like going out and like partying, but at the same time I love to travel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. travel so much that it makes it hard that if I want to get into a relationship, it's like hey do you want to come to this place for a long time? Or do you want like, mm -hmm. it's hard to travel and then progress in a relationship unless yeah. you're traveling yeah. together. Yeah. You ready for this one? I think this is one that a lot of people probably ask you. Okay. But just since we haven't done a workout question, mm -hmm. what is your favorite muscle group to work and why? Um, shoulders. Why shoulders? Well, I really want shoulders, mm. but I don't have them. <laughs> you have shoulders. No, like, you know how like Robin has like, Robin, yeah. Robin has the best shoulders I've ever seen. <sighs> I feel like that's such a genetic thing. You, oh, that I makes you feel better. It, 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 I don't have good shoulders. Uh, I can't get shoulders. I think you have good shoulders. Everything it's else in my body will yourself. grow except for my shoulders. It's your weak body part. But I love shoulders. It's just fun. It's You're painful. Falling in love with your weaknesses. I like that. Would you say your favorite shoulders of anyone are Robin's then? Yes. Best shoulders ever. That or Kelsey good. Wells. Kelsey Wells has legit Stunning. shoulders. Stunning. Yes. Or Karina. Or Karina's shoulders are. I think yeah. Kelsey Wells has the best shoulders. Oh my gosh! I look at Kelsey Wells' oh, shoulders they're and sometimes so I'm like, luscious. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, if I could like chop off her arms, I would, and like put them on me. Uh, it's a little morbid, but <laughs> if I could just body wear part. Kelsey Wells' right? skin as a suit, if I could just <laughs> chop it off. <laughs> What's your favorite body part? To train? Yeah. It changes. It used to be shoulders because okay. again, there was my weak body part. Mm -hmm. But chest is still my weak body part. I, I could train really? chest all the time. I just have a poor chest. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of girls would disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a good one for you. Because this is a question I oftentimes wonder. Right. How are you always so positive? You are too though. Yes, you are. Okay, I Every appreciate Every single it. video. What's up everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
you know? That I do. And then you go, put your hands in a huddle. Uh, hey. Go, go football! football. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's not how it goes at all. I feel like when you go through really hard times in your life that like demolish you, and you've been through some stuff, Yep. I've been through some stuff, and you get out of that after a long period of time, you start to be more grateful for the little things in yeah. life, which is where my quote, it's a beautiful day to be alive came from, because I was going through some like really bad stuff for over a year, mm -hmm. to the point where like I didn't want to get out of bed. But I'm like, you know what? It's a beautiful day to be alive. I have a roof over my head. Yep. I woke up in a bed. At the time I had my dog, Neighboru. I think happiness, like three things to happiness is gratitude. What else? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a total Michael Scott. I, I think living in the moment. So I notice when, oh, if I'm on my phone too much, what I mean by that is like, if I'm not present with people, if I'm living on my phone too much, mm -hmm. I get in this mood that's just, I start comparing myself. Well, especially to on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's easy to be positive when you think about the little things in life that you have. Totally. The fact that you are waking up is a blessing. I'm not always positive. I don't feel like me and you are always positive, no. always in the best mood ever. But it's about like going to sleep, waking up, tomorrow's a new day, it's a beautiful day to be alive, let's start this day on a good note. Yeah. I feel that there's so much negativity and unhappiness and devastation in the world at this time. Mm that I hope that when you come to my YouTube or my Instagram, it could be a place of positivity and happiness, and I hope it's a place that you feel welcome. I'm very real with you, I am very open with you, but I'm always going to be very positive and uplifting because I want this to be a, a safe place for you to come. Does that make sense? But I feel like you're the same way because your whole page is always very happy and positive and cheery. There's enough negativity. There's too much of it. Trying to spread that positivity. Yeah. Do you have a cute single brother asking for myself. <laughs> I love that you Do said you have ask, any brothers? asking. Yeah, I have two brothers. One single, one's not. Oh. Yeah, I have a younger brother. That's single? That's yeah, single. Why don't you let the people know? Dis uh, maybe I'll disrespectful. have to. He, disrespectful. Can you tell us one more question here? If a guy wants to work his glutes and get that perfect peach, mm -hmm. what would you tell him to do? My dentist, he is so great. And I walk in one day. Why I'm going all the time right now because I have to get my new Invisalign trays like every three weeks So I have to keep going into the office and he was like listen Whitney nothing fits my my glutes Because like nothing fits his waist because his quads are bigger than his waist, right? Okay. So he's like so how do I grow my butt so that I can fill in the pants? Ah. So I get off the side of this dental chair Like I like get off the side. I'm like hip thrust baby and I show him how to do a hip thrust in my dental chair You're doing hip thrust in the dental chair. We're this tight man. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to the wrong dentist. Yeah. Hip thrust. Hip thrust changed my life. Okay. Hey, Gabe. If you could only give one fitness tip to anyone, what would it be? I would say, remember your why. Wow. Yeah. That was motivational. That was inspiring. Mine would be, be patient with yourself. Mm. I think it's very easy to become very frustrated with yourself. Steve, do you want to get married again? Someone asked that? <laughs> 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 I love how legit Whitney laughs. Alright, Steve, do you want to <laughs> Do you want to get married again? Yeah, I would love to get married again. It just, it just needs to be um, more thought out. Steve wants to get married again. I'm 34. And he wants to have kids. Three. ASAP Rocky, right? Um, next two years, yeah. So I'm very, like, I'm, a, I'm, the real, I'm the realist in your life. Yeah. So every time Steve's dating a girl that doesn't want to get married and have kids, I'm like, yeah. maybe you're dating the wrong girl. Steve, what are you doing? Yeah. Did I not do that with the last girl you dated? Yeah. That was the first thing I said. I said, well, does she want to get married? Right. And you were like, yeah. And I said, well, does she want kids? And you're like, not for like three years. And right. I was like, what's the point? <laughs> last question. Drum roll, please. <laughs> when are you and the pups going to come down to St. <laughs> George? <laughs> <laughs> when are you and the pups gonna come down to St. George and wake surf? Bring Stefan, bring the fam. I'm we'll... not very good at like, um, I didn't grow up boating, so yep. I'm not good at boating activities, True. but we'll come down. I need to come down to St. George ASAP for Rocky. I'm a safe driver, I promise you that. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was our last set, best set, baby. What? Last set, best set, I've never How ended it with baby. It? Last set, best set, baby. <laughs> okay, last set, best. Set. That was perfect. Woo! Woo! Two claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! Football! <laughs>
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. I love you so no, much. I love channel. you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Without you, we would truly be nothing. Definitely head over to Steve's channel. We're not doing a video over there because this Q&A took too much time. It was a long video, but maybe you'll come on my channel and go through my DMs. Yes, that would be so much fun. We love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. All right, love you so much. And until next time, I will see you next time. Love you so much. <gasps> you got me so cute.